I have this Friday Night Cascadia then uh, came out with a problem. The problem was then this Friday Night Cascadia um, had a transmission replacement and this transmission was not the original transmission. The transmission was a 13 speed originally and someone installed a 10 speed which was uh, a problem. The truck didn't have power, enough power, enough um, uh, speeds because you know 13 speed and 10 speed are completely different transmissions they have totally different ratios and the differentials are not going to work um, if you um, uh, swap them and uh, in this case the person then did, did a really bad job see this is the coolant lines the cooling lines and they're bypass there is a bypass to them so that is so bad but uh the issue is not just that. The issue will be then uh, we have a major problem. But uh, just to be clear, so if you wonder, yes, we are going to install a 13 speed transmission. This is the transmission that we install on this truck. This is 13 speed. And we are getting on it, putting it all together. But uh, for the moment, it is on progress. But uh, the major issue goes like that. Uh, they did replace the transmission for uh, 10 speed, which is what was okay and everything. So you will think, okay, easy, let's swap the transmission for a 13 and problem solved. But it is not so easy right now because we have a major issue af um, after that. Let's go under, we have to go under to show you. And the major problem is going to be on the bell housing. Here we have the bell housing, and we are going to see then we have damage on the threads of the housing. So, whoever did the installation on this transmission before did really bad installing all these bolts because you can see the thread is completely gone there is no thread at all this one you can see the thread but it is already damaged that one you can see the damage of the thread right there and this one even have a broken ball in there see same thing for all of them that is so bad that is the problem then a simple transmission replacement is going to be a major repair because now we have to remove the bell housing completely from this truck in order to repair this problem and uh, we can see that the clutch is damaged you can see then the bearing over there has damage so um this was a pretty bad job whoever did this job was super uh, lazy or very uh, um, unprofessional and uh, it is funny too then uh, we have one new motor mount see this is new but the other one is not new so there are many things on this truck then i don't like at all this type of labor is the one that i hate the most when jobs are halfway they are not complete and uh, there is many other issues after that because we have to replace the bell housing we have to replace the transmission because the transmission is not the original the clutch is about to get wear completely the bearing over there the um, uh, pilot bearing needs replacement the motor mount right here is going to need replacement because we have to remove it and whatever else we find after removing all these components this is something that i understand when all of you complain about where i'm going to take the truck this is something that i know you are going to hate if it happens to you that's the reason why you are was looking for a good labor and i understand that so this it's a message for all the mechanics, right? If you are going to do a job like this, you better don't do it. Really, I, I, I don't have anything against you doing half job and, and half just like this and spending so much time and charging so much time to the customer. I, I, I get it. I mean, we all want to make money, 
but this is not the right way because you can see then the bolts are completely gone the strips i mean the bolts are completely the thread is completely stripped so this could be one problem the transmission could just fail and cause a major issue so that could be a very high incident over the road this is an issue so we have copper problems right here to fix as i said before we have the bell housing clutch motor mount um whatever else is here we have the transmission let's get out of here we have the transmission 13 speed transmission that needs to be installed on this one i don't know who had the idea i don't know who was the actual fool to install a 10 speed transmission on a 13 speed uh transmission originally dropped so that is one of the stupidest thing i have ever seen i mean if you do that okay you can do it uh, if you want to install a 10 speed on a truck then comes with that uh with a 13 speed it is possible yes but it is not just to replace the transmission you have to replace many different components differentials dry lines and other components that are going to work with the transmission itself so that way it is going to work as original as expected from factory so that will be the only situation so uh now you can see what a simple transmission replacement can be how expensive can turn now this job is going to be around like what like probably like eight thousand to ten thousand dollars between that because we have the transmission we need a clutch we need a housing luckily we have some of the parts right here we have this broken engine then i don't know if you saw my previous videos so we have the housing right here then we are going to use for that transmission pretty much are the same dd15 engines housings are the same this housing is in a good condition you can see the thread right there has no damage that one's pretty good, so uh, we are going to use this housing for that uh, uh, engine. And we have a couple extra parts right here, spare parts. It's always good to have a spare parts. That is something that is very important to have in any shop. And they have to be good. But anyway, um, this is something that I don't like to see. But, you know it is not something that never is going to happen it happens every day everywhere different shops different cities different states different countries because there is always that mechanic that doesn't do the job the job right or he doesn't care about other people he just want to get money and the ones that pay the consequences you know are always you you are going to pay for things that you are not requesting in this case we are going to do it right this time but the consequence of that is a high price but i'm pretty sure he pays some money by doing that transmission right there so i'm pretty sure that costs him around like what five thousand dollars four thousand dollars minimum replacing the transmission maybe i will say the cheapest if he get if he got the transmission for 1500 it's possible i know i have seen transmission like that but you know the quality of the transmission and and you know what i, be, I pay attention to this um i already pay attention you can see some of the damage of the bolts right there that metal thing is coming off from the transmission yeah you can see all the damage right there housing i believe the housing is all right so with the housing we don't have no problems it's mostly the transmission uh bell housing of the engine the rear main seal housing um uh motor mounts dry lines and all that anyway uh pretty much this is all i have for you i just wanted to do this quick video so that way you get the idea on what it is when you got a scam with a job this is pretty much a scam or i don't know if the owner was agreed to it because sometimes that's what happens owners in order to save money they do some crazy stuff and at the end turns and things like that but i have no idea but at the end the thing is he gotta pay more money now for something that was not even worth trying and actually destroy everything else but uh you have any questions just be sure to comment below uh and if you have experiences about it just uh comment below comment everything possible so that way you can uh share 
any of any type of comments about problems like this scams bad jobs uh bad uh, requests from uh, if you are a mechanic if in in a shop um a truck owner came to you and say oh i want this i want that comment below because i i know that's possible too there is owners that are going to request a lot of stuff that is crazy and you as a mechanic are going to provide it I know. But anyway, um, comment below, uh, contact me directly, go to Instagram. Uh, on Instagram, you can see many things, not only you can ask me questions there. You can see future videos that I'm, I'm posting on my stories, that way you can get the idea on what the future videos are going to be about. And um, uh, when I send support to the channel, check the description. I have details, how to send support to the channel. And uh, like the video, share, subscribe, and thank you for watching.